You know what? I want us to pray for us. <clears throat> hey, because you see, we've got a male crew. Guys, come, 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 come. So we can become better people as men. I want you to pray for us. Yo, come, guys, no, let's hold hands. I'm not, hold hands. Come, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm holding. Come, come, guys. Sound we're pray for us. We're pray hands. for all the men. Come, guys. We're all holding hands. No, no, no. It must be background. camera. It doesn't count if it's not in camera. Ah, yeah. Come, come. Everybody must come. No, ah. Tato. And uh, but man, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special song, and I mean a special. Look, I'm sitting next to you, bro. Very special. Who saw the testing? You type back a song on booze. Ah, and he said that already. When did I, I say that? The How blasphemy. When did I How say that? <laughs> I'm good, Natasha the honey. <laughs> Please welcome Natasha Tahane, <laughs> the beautiful and talented Natasha Tahane. Uh, she's been doing amazing things for the past few years. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you. It's good to be here, finally. Thanks for coming, bro. I didn't think you were going to come. Did I tell you so? Yeah, you did. He yeah, did yeah. say he didn't think you'd be Because uh, you hardly do any interviews. I hardly do interviews for a whole lot of good reasons. Yeah? Yeah. I prefer what? playing other characters for a living. Mm -hmm. So I spend so little time with myself, with Angiz Daazi, most of the time. Mm. Oh. And I was spiritually and emotionally off balance. So I don't want to hide behind positive quotes. Okay. And having to now perpetuate a facade just for me to look good in public. Mm. So I was going through stuff and I was just wanted to get through it. So now I feel like I'm, a, I'm in a good space now. So who are you talking to? Natasha, one of your characters? Now? Natasha. Natasha. <laughs> Natasha. Ta I'm here. Fully from, present. From Soweto. Fully present. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, by the way, we're coming at you live uh, at Conquer. It's yeah. the first time here. It's my first time here, but Same I'm here. back in the hood. So, Sikaslam. One of my friends actually lives down the road. Alicia, just around here. This is the only way we can get into Konka by doing <laughs> <laughs> And actually be able to drink. <laughs> and actually be able to drink. But this is black excellence that like yeah. you were saying earlier oh, yes, on. Yes. Like, this is beautiful. It's amazing, it's right? It's really beautiful. I see the hype now. Now yeah. I get the hype. So this is Pimville, ne? Pimville, yes. And then you grew up in? Orlando East. Where's that? It's up the road. It's not far. Oh, is it? It's not far. Oh, okay, cool. And then apart from Konka, where do you normally go out? Like... Because I've seen you I've once. never been to Conga. This is my first time. So I've never been out to yeah. Conga. Yeah. Um, being is a guy, like I come to Kawash, you need to go So I'm not going to come and leave like all the nice things and come this side. But I'd love to come back yeah. um, and just party here. So I'm the first time, It's the first time we meet, but I once saw you at Mo Moja Cafe. Moja, yes. Yes. I don't know yes. what you're doing there, but you're walking in. And I was outside trying to get in. <laughs> Did you get in? No. <laughs> 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 they bounced me. Did you get in? <laughs> it was it was like before Corona, so it was like crazy. crazy before times. we actually start, yeah, ne, yeah, I'm very disappointed in you. Why? Very disappointed. Insane, man. I used to be a huge fan of Umakji, um, 94.7. Oh yeah. yeah. And him, Alex Cage. That's MacGyver, not Maggie. That was MacGyver. Him, MacGyver. Alex Cage, Stacey Norman. I was a huge fan. Yeah. Um, and then I moved to Cape Town, Bissing Nalila in 945. But I came and then you wished me happy birthday on air. Yes, I was yes, so yes. excited. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then you followed me back. I followed Alex Cage and Stacey Norman. They still haven't followed me. Yeah. But you followed me yeah. and I was so excited. Yeah. And I sent him a DM saying, Guti, saying, Guti, keep on keeping on. Yeah. And then you made it something else. <laughs> Oh, uh, what was it? Naturally. It was keep on keeping on. I received DMs all the time from young boys saying, Guti, oh, keep on keeping on. I'm so inspired by your work. So for you uh, to see it, eh. I felt so disrespected. And I, I'd like you. No, yeah. no, you know what's happening. Ah, uh, Mamel, Mamel. <laughs> and then what what you don't sleep with listeners i mean yeah. that was 16 year old me no you know what happened uh, i was coming back from i was coming from yfm i get mm. so yfm when someone a girl sli slides in your dms you know what it means yeah it's like that yeah it's, it's like, like that. that yeah so that's what i thought i didn't know that if you love Birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday shout outs. <laughs> the 947 loves Even you. Even after. 
<laughs> so sorry, I apologize. No. And he didn't know you were sixteen. Yeah, at I didn't the time know you were sixteen. Also. But I was I was into white girls that time. I was going through a white girl phase, so I I, I didn't even take it seriously. Okay. You don't yeah. get to try white girls at YFM. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so. But anyway, so let's say we're writing a book about you, right? Yeah. Let's start from your childhood, no? Because mm-hmm. uh, your mom had you when she was 19, right? Yeah. Uh, why didn't she have an abortion? Was she afraid of telling sure. her parents? Because my mom had, had me when she was young. She was 17. Yeah. And she thought about having an abortion. I've had conversations with my mom. Um, got to the support Abinayo that she received from home. Like oh. Like I probably have like five elderly that's like above ninety. Yeah. Because obviously, we still we want you to further your studies. We want what's best for you. But yes. now you chose to do this. Okay, what are you? And Papa okay. oh, My mom baby. is closer, yeah. Oh, you baby. Oh, My dad is baby. So, and the thing is, they only did the nasty once. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. <laughs> and I was there. <laughs> and I was there. <laughs> Christmas Day and then nine months later on the dot 24th of September I was here wow so my mom is a strong woman obviously it wasn't easy definitely wasn't easy but the support as a Kai which I also get to receive from her and from Abu Gogo but I'm going to bring peace oh, wow. and it's been blissful ever since obviously with challenges but look at me now mm. so this is like I always say to young people that are in that situation because it's not the end. What situation? Being pregnant at nineteen, being pregnant, oh, at teenage yeah, pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, your 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 family gets disappointed. Kotwa, it's not the end, and you can get through it. Mm. I know it's hard, but if you're not in that situation, please don't get into that situation until you're responsible enough to be able to take care of yourself and to be, take care of another human being. God, that's not the end of the world. You know, keep pushing and look. today, But she held on. Was there pressure for you not to get pregnant at 19? Yes, I put, <laughs> I put pressure on myself, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put pressure on myself because there's a thing of history repeating itself. So we're breaking generational curses that we don't even know anything about. Yeah. So that was my thing to break those generational curses. And like, I don't want to be that person again at 19. Mm. So don't, it's not like your mom was a bad bad or something, eh? No, we always pass our guys actually. Mm-hmm. Like afterwards, not being as pissing our guys, we go to a big church camp. A big church camp. I have my confirmation practices, my performer, and all those things. Up, she was part of the choir, sing concerts in. Um, but we always buisa. Um, I think that's why she gets a whole lot of respect. And I say, look, she in food because was pass our guys. Yeah. And did your dad was he a part of your upbringing? Was he around? My dad was around. Mm. Um, Brad Benson. Mm. And he was very supportive together with his family. Mm. And they were still young, yeah. but yeah. Like mm. Benzo's like my, he's like my nigga, man. Yeah. It's like my nigga, oh, like my dad. Oh, they're as well. No, no, they're, they're together. Oh, they're still together? They're together. Damn. Yeah. Wow. They're together. He's very supportive. Wow. Very, very supportive. And um, now with my little sister as well, you know, like my family's very supportive. How was it like growing up um, and your grandfather's the archbishop? I think being in that family just as a whole and having strong women, having Ukoko, having Ukulu mm. and seeing how Ukulu loves Ukoko like it's the first time every day. Yes, that was yes. like the bar for me, you know, when it comes to Utando and seeing my mom, seeing just that love, you know, it hasn't always been easy, but Utando and the support. Mm. So it was great and I've learned so much mm. and I'm here today because of him Fundiso. Are you related to Desmond Tutu? Ne? Yeah. You are, ne? What is he to you? We're related. <laughs> <laughs> We're related. Did you ever see like any political figures that just walk into your house on a random Saturday? For real. I got to live with them yeah. um, for two years. I think that's when I absorbed all the wisdom from both him and Gogo. Like I can't see them separate. Mm. Like. Kulu comes with Gogo because of the love and the bond and the unity. Yoguti can go and ask Gogo something, but by the end of the day, Kulu already knows, so you can't even ask him. Yoguti, Kulu can have piece of money because he already knows that you ask Gogo. Yeah, so yeah. that's the bond and the love that they have, and I see them as one because Baba Mbening is aunt, mm. even now. Yeah, they're like Major League twins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, did you meet Mandela? 
Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. How was that? Like, what happened? Uh, it was like a, a public setting. Oh, he didn't it come was to like the a house. Public setting. He went. He used to go to the house, but because I was this side, yeah. and Ubukulu moved that side. Yeah. But that was after his passing when I moved with them. Mm. Yeah. Jeez, that's crazy, man. And your grandmother? Like, do you still feel the presence like till this day? Um, Ukoko is still alive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't both? Isn't the grandmother? My great grandmother's sister. Oh yeah. Passed away when I was still shooting Blood and Water season one. Yeah. That was hard. You guys were close, ne? I'm close with all my gogos. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And because of their stories and because of Futanda, they embrace you, yeah. you know. And do go kids, if it's like my grands have a kids, but it's Tanda Songke. That's why they love for us to just come together, especially holidays. Like Wazadi yeah. Nonke. Whether Uma Waku Sevens are gay, whether Maka Sevens are Niamantanabam Nonke. So, um, Uku, my Koko, Kok Ignis, passed away when I was still shooting mm. and I couldn't attend the funeral. Mm. So I went for a service at Sen and then I had to fly to Cape Town. That's terrible. To go straight to set. Sure. To go shoot a scene. There's a whole scene where I was arguing with Figile and I was like going, going on, going on. And I'm just like, my personal life is shitty right now. Wow. And I'm trying to put it together, but I have to work. Why and here you go? I am. Because we had to work. So E production like was very supportive throughout. Yeah. But because they only had that location that day only, mm. they had to shoot on that day. Mm. So like the the producer Ben was calling and just checking up on me and making sure that I'm okay. But they had to shoot on that day. Bro, no one should ever have to make a decision like that. That should have that must t- that was tough, ne? <sighs> Definitely not. And it was it was tough, but I got through it. Mm. I got through it got the mm. but my cast members as well like were there they would come yeah because oh. we all like had apartments so they would come to the room and just send me flowers all those things yeah, yeah. why did you move to Cape Town then why did I move mm. I don't know why I'm wrong I'm just actually <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't know but I'm glad I got to to move because it made me comfortable with change. Mm. So I think that's when I had my first big change. And after that, I was like, okay, cool, I can move now. Now I can be away from family. Now I can take care of myself. Now oh, I can do this, I can okay. Do that. That's why America wasn't such so, a big yeah. deal. Okay. So everything is intentional. Yes, yes. Everything that has happened yeah. happened for a reason. Yeah. And I'm glad it happened that yeah. way. I heard you didn't like boys in, in, in high school. You were being so fun. Ah, you lied, Natasha. Because of my mom, obviously, and now yeah. have her having a girl child is like, yo, yeah. Naz, okay, yeah. please. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You were being so fun. So none of them would approach you, nothing. I don't know, 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 I don't know. I was scared yeah. of dating. Yeah, but I you're brave to slide into my DMs. <coughs> that was innocent, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure DMs are dry. <laughs> hey, That's why you got excited. Hey, the <laughs> 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 That's why you got so excited. Hey, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> so when when does the switch happen? Because I, I I believe in varsity. You started dating, ne? It was it varsity? Yeah. 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 So what happens for you now to start dating in varsity? I think cooler. Yeah, growing up. I think ne? cooler. Yeah. Yeah. I think cool. Yeah, and then you studied accounting as well. I did. Oof. How did that go? Yeah. <laughs> I used to bank classes to go to auditions. It was fun, but it was stressful. Mm. That's when I realized, was yo, adulting. Like that's when reality hit. Yeah. That's when it all hit. What did you want to become when you're studying accounting? Like a CEO or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Qualified chartered accountant. You know, growing up, put my CEO. Hey. Hey. Get there first year. Yo, hey. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah. And then, and because I was hardly in class as well, because I was going to all these auditions. Oh. So half the time I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Are you going to auditions via an agency or manager or like it's just I, call-ups? I got representation. Okay. I got representation. Mm. Um, he opened his own 
agency and then like I just went on Google then we set up a meeting Ganti's legit thank god because this is Sunny Studios and then we went oh, so Noma, yeah yes. and he was legit because yeah. a lot of people are knockoffs like people take people's money For and so real. people have to be careful For when it comes real. to agencies that still happens yo me na baga bang noke US na ming papa what happened it, yo i was i think it was during when i was still in school and then you had to pay like a hundred or something dollars mm. for what's back register mm. and then it's headshots all the time like send in me now my auditions all those things in my knee this is in hollywood this is in new york new york yeah, yeah. this is in new york and after that that's when i was scared would see actually no things have to be done the right way yeah they have wow. to be done the right way and you never got your money back nothing it's gone no. they still bad. send me emails so how did you realize it was a scam because i didn't get any like all the auditions were sent they didn't give me what they promised so it was mostly like background and stuff like that so i promise bank promise lead bank they miss lead kind bank send la my background bank send la bo yo like it was like small roles yeah. like very small roles yeah. and the us is big so small roles small roles <laughs> i see like small role like at least they can give you a line one day yeah, cuz they'll see you but that side it's big it's a huge and it's huge so you did some small roles in america i didn't oh I didn't. okay okay cuz i was still in school as well so i didn't oh okay yeah. thank goodness imagine eh? you yeah. want those coming up now uh-uh. yeah. <laughs> but it all helped me so much when it came to like my stuff here yeah. um then i got to work as our story did three yes. lotion by scopes you were part of guys you know yes yeah. i did my first that was my first second audition but i got it and then you i know got it you know stories so yeah yeah it's the room divider stories <laughs> yes yeah there's always a room divider in those things <laughs> what's a casi household or a room true. divider bro <laughs> That's true. And then I did I'm a lotion by scope. That's when I knew this was in my veins did and this, I wanted to do that, this. Do those things pay? Then back then that was good for me. Now yeah. give me that eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, as a 17-year-old going 18, uh, that was good. And the numbers are good. A lot of good. people watch. And now I was to take and Jay Pedding and Kai and now Bonnie so good to us events. You know just the little stuff cuz I like like buying stuff when clean. Gi Bonnie malam gi kwa mbuto king tenga lok nga tenga lok nga tenga lok. So I learned how to save and learned how to spend my money. Ngale mali ncane. By the time The big money came I'm like okay yeah. yeah I already knew how to manage my money Yeah Yeah I remember when I was starting out on on, on kids TV mm-hmm. my mom would take my money so I just asked for one paycheck the first one yeah. and then I bought a radio which I still have by the way oh. and a computer Yeah ah, and then the rest she chowed she chowed Why do parents do that She did the same to you as well <laughs> My mom used to do that <laughs> And I still the scheme sign My salary used to go to her <laughs> yeah. Yes Not even Lokshin No yeah. I was 19 With scheme sign <laughs> So my salary used to go to her Basically I used to monthly allowance And then pay like all my stuff yeah. I moved out in Lini then So I used to pay for rent Wow The rest I used to pay for She was skipping the money Because when I was ready to go to New York I'm like ma I'm a savings man Because I want to yeah, go study Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like ma yo but she i managed how to spend my money and because being the money so i didn't take all that salary yeah. so the little that she gave me yes. was my money for the month be pedal pedal yeah so that's crazy you still know what she did with the money you still don't know <laughs> no hey and then how much did you save before you went to to america because that you paid for all that no No. Oh, okay. I got funding. Ah, oh, nice. First clean, trim- clean. first semester. First semester, yeah, first yeah. semester I got yeah. funding. And then after that, eh I didn't know <laughs> like I went back. Let me tell you that story. So initially I wanted to go back to school. So I was deciding between locally and internationally. Yeah. But I'm like if I'm still and I'm still at Boston Lab. Yeah in and out so i'm like if i stay here i'm not going to be a student i'm going to miss out on being young mm, mm, and mm. i need that i need to let life touch me mm, mm. because i've had it good and my family has protected me yeah so 
I I don't know what life wants. 100%. So we get plan the car. We get plan. And then I was like trying to decide I'm like I need full time and to go back to school full time. I can't mm. do it here. And then that's when the NY the New York Film Academy thing came about. And then I went to go audition. They gave me a school discount oh, wow. and then I needed funding and then I called U Tlinwa and um Russell they helped me guy go mamba lega she was still the chairperson of parliament then yeah I'm like mama i need to go and study how much do you need at this time oh. yo it was a lot i think i spent around about um i think the entire year yeah was a million and <laughs> like it was a million plus yeah, yeah. The million plus good investment so good investment. but now there's still good like there's all these mm. things it was a lot mm. um and then like tell mama I'm like mama I need to go back to school I've been accepted, accepted. now ganje I didn't sign my second uh year year the queen yeah so I'm got to do that this was so tell her uti tell me tell her something and then she managed to speak to e arts and culture and then they gave me funding but i only asked for the first semester because i was scared which being like tell you and give me no money yes yeah yeah <laughs> so i only asked for like half and then i went through the first semester when i had to go back now there's nothing what yo ukoko my grandson to begin retire koko yena ngikhulisi begin retire athathi ke retirement retirement mm. I think I still owe tuition even oh, now. Wow, that's so I still nice. owe tuition even now. That's so nice of her, man. And then and then I went back so I called Leslie Cocker and we had to still pay the accommodation because accommodation was still expensive. It was so expensive. Yo. Accommodation was so and you're sharing with yeah. someone. It was like 25k per month to share. Yo. To share. And it's tiny. It's tiny. But I knew what I was there for. I cut my hair because mm. I couldn't afford braiding. Not sure. because it's stylish. I cut, yeah. I cut my hair because you of that. You made a lot of sacrifices. It was 2,500 for braids. I'm like, for braids? Uh, mm. I cut my hair. I used to use stick-ons. Like, I'd glue my nails. I'd still look good. Yeah. But I had to, like, cut down on a whole lot of things just for me to maintain that lifestyle. And I knew it was Bengali and Lapa and Bengali. We were the only South African uh, in, in, in the no. class. Who else was there? There was Casey. Um, she's from Cape Town. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't we know still that. keep in contact. Oh, yeah, yeah. We still keep in contact. And what did you learn from that class in, in, in America? I learned a lot. Mm. Um... And because no one knew who I was, oh, yeah. I managed to just be myself. Yes, yes. So I learned so much about myself as well. Yeah. You know, just being able to just listen. Yes. Learned how to listen. Because I knew so much already from, um, from set, mm. from the experience time that I got back home. And others didn't know much, yeah. as much as I did. For real? So I just sat back. Because mm. they're all, mm. like, when they're 19, when they're studying for the first time, oh, they're there so for the first time. So I've got some, some, some experience. So I just you sat back. Some wardrobes under And just, name. like, listened. Mm. La 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 la. Mm. And that's what you need to do as a performer. You need to listen mm. when someone is speaking for you to be able to respond. You can't just respond because you've got lines. You need to listen. Mm. Because the tone might change how you respond to it. You've got the text, yes, it's there, but it might change how you respond to it. So uh, listening. Because I find when I'm doing uh, interviews, that's yeah. why Saul is here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are talking, I'm thinking about the next question. Mm. You understand? So then but I you missed, might, you might I even missed. find the question go the answer that I gave you yes and yes, which is what you're doing I yes. think because of radio and that experience you get to know it's okay cool it's actually conversational yeah. it's obviously scary when you do it for, for the first time but it gets like it becomes conversational yeah you know yeah. so you've got two ears and one mouth listen as, twice as much as you speak and what's crazy is that when I watch back the interviews and now I'm actually listening because now I'm not worried about the next question mm. I'm like oh fuck I should ask that oh yeah. fuck I should ask that and you beat yourself up yeah I think we all do that like after I was like, yo, I shouldn't have said that. Ish, I overshared. I shouldn't have. <laughs> that anxiety. That's yeah. why I don't like doing interviews. Yeah. Because I'm like, Ish, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> and I don't even watch back. Yeah. There's something that you mentioned about something that you learned in, in, in that class was like how just because your light is not being shunned mm. doesn't mean something about lighting and shining. Yeah. What were you saying there? Yo, lighting and shining. Lights. Yeah, like, so did I you, were say saying, you were saying shining? that I, I started listening 
and then if Saul's light is shining, our lights are shining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fresh. <laughs> I, hey, do you hear what I'm saying? Are we still doing the same interview, guys? Yeah. <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying? But I'll pick up from that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fresh off that topic. I don't remember her saying that. I no, I in haven't a, no, said in that. No, in an interview that she once did. Like I oh, saw. interview she yeah. once did. You didn't oh. say oh, yeah. I thought that. we were still yeah. here. No, I'll come on the next question. Sorry, I didn't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was watching an interview and we were talking about lighting. And yeah. I think... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey. The shade. Forty three percent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, when it comes to the light shining, <laughs> <laughs> which one is this one? Hey, I think we we all need to understand. You would see what God has given you. I can't take it away from you. Mm. What I have, you can't take it away from me. 100%. So, if your light is shining. <laughs> I can't, yo, no one else can dim your light. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, I don't know what, I don't remember what I said, but yeah, the light and shining. <laughs> don't dim it. Don't uh, dim it. Do you have any aspirations to move back to America? I do. Nah, we gotta go back, bro. I do. But I'd love to go back as. Love to be known as a director, oh, just an international, like a female director wow. internationally. Wow. I haven't really prayed for the roles that I want internationally, yeah. but now because of the blood and water and the plat and the reach that it has, one is on a global mm. stage now, but obviously still in Africa, mm. which is great because I still get to see family. But I'd love to be known as a female director, and I want to start producing and creating jobs in South Africa. And so I started my production company, Tiny you Media. Production company. Yeah. Whoa. Dev HR. But I, but I haven't started working. Oh. Um, we've only done a gospel event, uh, Radical Trailblazers, which was a great turnout. Yeah. Oh. was a great turnout. So with me now, because I'm an actress and I deal with things emotionally, okay. I'm just learning how to work with people. Mm. So learning how to work with crew, learning how oh, to yes. work with people. So it starts even as in mm. how I speak to my house manager, mm. how I work with the people that are close house to me. Manager. My like make that. my house makeup manager. artist. Yeah. My makeup artist, the person's going to send me clothes, all those. So I'm still learning how to speak to people. Because sometimes get delayed. Hi, Natasha. No, 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 no. You're sometimes, so respectful. Sometimes no get delayed. Like, guys, you okay? Mm-hmm. You know what's in your notes? He's caught. You know what's in his caught? Especially when I'm like off balance, like spiritually. You okay. know what's in his caught? And then I just react. I think my mom sees it a lot. And Uvela is okay, I know. It's one of those days. And you can't afford that it's in one business. Of those days. And you can't be Definitely emotional. not. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. How does. What's the difference between like acting and then taking the direction to go direct? Like, what changes? I've always wondered. I think with with directing, it's a bit cha- when you've been the performer. I think it's a bit challenging because now you need to trust the other person. Yes, you've got you've got your vision as yes. a director, yeah. but you need to trust the choices that they also make. Okay, you wouldn't have made those choices if you're a performer, but you need to trust the people that you're working with. That's why directors and actors always need to have a good relationship. Mm. But that switch, um, it's obviously now you putting it in a bigger you're not just it's not just one person you're not just handling just yes, one character yes 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 just one character yeah. you know and you're working with everyone on set as well you're working with the DOP you're working with the light you need to understand uh, what's happening so that when you're saying good thing you silhouette was good with EP light okay so that's how I want to go back to school again for real to go study producing and and know what what happens so not just the directing part, but also no camera work, also no sound, sound art lighting. department, makeup, all those things, because it's a lot. There's a lot that comes in. So I don't want to be that producer that's sitting and then he make up, he make up artists saying, what's the budget? Damn, it's going to be 500K. And you say, ha, make up that door. Is there ghost producing? Makeup you is know, expensive. like in, in, in music, I can make the track and then we put your name on it. Does, this, does that happen in, 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 
in your field? I think in the US mostly. For real? Wow. I've, I think it, it does in the US because then if I know my strengths and I know what's okay, cool, I've got this. And then when you've got Clampe, the face that can make it, the, make the company, yeah. Pop, and you've yeah. got the same vision. Yeah. Um, so there's an alignment. Then we partner up and we say, see, I'll be the silent partner and then you go ahead and you shine. Mm. I like the directing part. So, yeah. so teamwork, is, teamwork is always good. I'm not scared of working with other people. Yeah. If I had to collaborate with another, with another production company, I wouldn't mind. Also starting small, if I had to like produce, I would look by scope and stuff, yeah. I would not mind, which is what I want to do because I want to learn. I want to go back. I don't want to come in with a mentality because you know, I've been on the set, I've been on the set, but now it's a different ball game. I agree, man. Producing I think I want to be a director. I think I'm a director, dog. Yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the patience as well? Oh, yeah. Because not, not, not all actors can take direction. Mm. You need to find a way. But I like the fact that, you know, when you're playing a character, yeah. it's someone else's vision that you have to bring to life. Yes. But when you're directing, it's your vision, which is what I like. But there's mm. meetings, so there's pre-production where we all have meetings yeah. and we're all there for one purpose. Yeah. We're on the same page. So director will meet up with HODs, go all the departments, and then you know it's okay, make up, look, that's what we want for the scene, mm. all those things, then you come together and you discuss, yada, yada, yada. So it's not just you as well. There's a whole, it's, a t it's teamwork. Yeah. Why do you want to be behind the scenes? Because like right now you're in front, you're getting all the glitz, the glamour, you're traveling, getting money. And I'm sure there's a lot of things you still want to do in front of the camera. Definitely. I feel like I haven't earned my full colors when it comes to acting. There's roles that I'm still praying for that need to challenge me. And that's how I went back to school, to invest in my craft, to, to acquire new skills as I learn instruments, piano, uh, my paint, and like I'm wow. learning now my accents, all those things to try and polish my work. When it comes to behind the scenes, I want to, I always say, Guti, I'm blessed to be a blessing. Mm. Ooh. Mm. So all the Way blessings. better than the lighting shit you were saying earlier. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. All the blessings have Oof. come in abundance. Oof. And even when I felt underqualified, because I have, especially as a performer, and I felt like I haven't been getting strong roles, and it looks like I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but God has planted a seed, and I know that vision that he has given me. Mm -hmm. Which accents? And he has, okay, go on, sorry. And he has bestowed the vision in me. So I had to carry that goal and make sure that I block out all the noise and I focus and I run with it. Mm -hmm. So I've been blessed to be a blessing and I want to give back. I want to be able to create jobs because I know what it feels like to not know, especially yes. being in the US and feeling so near yet so far. Hey. Like, I see the Hollywood side, but where but do I go? Yes. So imagine leaving KZN to come to Joburg and say, I where do I I go mm, you're right. who do I speak to mm. especially wow. when people take advantage as a woman mm, you like mm. you can't just go to a man you can't and say go thing they like this thing even when you're when you're talented they might want to take advantage or whatever so you're like okay now I have and to be casting now I have to be still sure now I have to be still and live my life from a resting place mm. understanding Guti mm. it has been said for me does that exist though, couch casting? Because I've, I've spoken to a lot of uh, older um, uh, actors and yeah. actresses and they've said, yeah, it exists, but no one wants to go into detail. Yeah. So as a Gen Z, does it ex exist like in your space? I haven't been a victim and found myself in that situation. And it does exist. Sure. If people say it exists and it happens to them, it definitely does exist. Mm. And I pray because they get the courage to speak out mm. so that those people say abazi so that we, so that the next generation exactly. also doesn't fall yeah. into yeah. it. Yeah. But I've been blessed to have female producers like oh, almost nice. my entire career. So from Saints and Sinners, Roberta, to um, our Sweeney, Skim Sam, oh, to having yes, our Corny on the Queen. You know, so I've had female so Mandla, producers. Um, Umanda, I came back from school. Actually, he, he auditioned for a lockdown when I was in the US. So lockdown was a reason why I came back. So you didn't lock um, me down in a room and... No. Okay. Just no. making sure. 
No, I haven't been in that situation. I've been blessed enough to have not been in that situation. But Manja is a chill guy, man. I've had him on the show. What an awesome guy. He has... He's amazing. He has challenged me when it comes to the character on lockdown. And I'd forever be grateful for that. Yeah. I'll forever be grateful for that. And I was in the US when um, my agent sent me the audition. You're going to need to audition for this. And I had to send a self-tape. So I'm like, yo... And I was with Tuso mm. then. And I was like, Tuso, you need to help me. I need to get a monologue. Le monologue blebeng again. And also like having to do it in front of Tuso. I'm like, <laughs> yo, I was nervous. <laughs> like it felt like I was in the audition room. But I'm like, just use this chance. Mm. Just use it for you to learn. Because there's so much to learn mm. from Tuso And how mm. she preps for her roles. Mm. She preps. She breaks it down. That monologue, I'm like... Oh, it's not just text. Okay. So, but it was so hard and I felt so discouraged. I didn't believe in myself then. And then I just let it go until I'm like, okay, now we need to. And I just improvised the monologue. Guys, send her through. Like I woke up in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m. And then I recorded it. Mm. Wow. Like I was like literally messy. My hair was messy. I just added like bags under my eyes and get makeup. And then I just improvised and then I sent it through. And then they're like, you got the role. I had to then fly back. Yeah. And then flying back, I was in the US. And then UTJ Sbu wow. helped me. Wow. He's like, he started with affirmations. Um, I think that season. Food. Yeah. Wow. He, he helped me and got me a flight coming back. So from Chicago, from the US to Chicago to um, Ethiopia. South Africa, like a wow. two-six hour flight. But obviously, being I say being being say alone, being say I was back still alone in, in the US, and I had money just saved up for me to be How there does he reach to go. You? Um, he was that side. Oh, he was that oh. side. He was that side. It was something like his radio station. I think yes. Lali. He was that side, and then we used to go like to church together. Okay. So he's been. He's played a huge part in, when it comes to wow. my my life, my career, and just teaching me how to use affirmations as well and he's like just write down the vision mm. write it down mm. and you will god will see you through it mm. fuck i loved you on lockdown eh? you were amazing you. weren't you weren't you weren't you like you. scared because like you were around some big big stars mm. you losha Cooper. i can go on and on and on bro yo like i said with you god will put you in rooms where you feel like, la, I'm underqualified. And the production was amazing. And even after graduating, I still felt like that. Mm. You know, I still felt like that. Would say, yo, am I really here? Am I really doing this? I was so nervous. Mind like just really believed, like, no, dude, you can do this. And How I was so prepped. Um, this was two years back. Oh, so like 23. 24. 24. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, 24, 23. Would you say Skim was <coughs> your first big break? <coughs> yeah. Definitely. Ne? How did that come about? Um, we auditioned for it, and then that's when I learned a whole lot of things about being MC Benson. I don't know why I keep looking up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yo. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because I'm always having, having a conversation with God. I'm like, yo, homie, what are we doing next? No, um, man, this is where Lodge chills <laughs> when he comes here. <laughs> so we... <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so excuse me, yes, and then that's when I learned so much. Like, yeah. um, Amanda Dupo was there, mm. and they all just mentored me throughout, you know. Oh, Neo Matsunyane was there, um, learn like teaching me how to square up because there's so many things that I learned school auction bicycle but I didn't know when it comes to I'm a soap and having three cameras and Aren't they what to do about you because you're the new hot girl coming in the the hot, I'm yeah. not hot guys the talent hey, hey. if you are fluff if you are if I was and if you don't know what you're doing as well yeah. crew is tired crew works so hard Monday to Monday yeah, but yeah. when we have three days and then we have and then now we need to work. You yeah, need to know what money. you're doing. Mm. You know, so Butle, yes, the brief says, good thing, we want to but when you get there, um seven Zwako has to speak for itself. Don't you think Amanda DuPont is like, oh man, this girl's coming to take my gig? She was so supportive. Wow. Would pray before scenes. You I've, learned, 
I've learned wow. so much. Like Amanda no Ubuntu, guys. Mm. Oh no Ubuntu. And even every time I see her, she's been so consistent with her mm. energy. She's been so consistent. I even told her when we were working together on um Isono on BT and I was saying, "Guti, you are you've been so consistent ever since I've known you." Ever since I've known Amanda, she's been so her energy has been so consistent. Doesn't it suck that people don't want to look past your looks? and look at just your talent obviously you can't help being pretty yeah i mean it's yeah. not like you can be like god i don't want to be pretty <laughs> for me ubuhle ngibuzwe ngani when i got into the industry ukuthi ngimuhle ugogo behle izasho ukuthi ubuhle biyaphela nah don't you think it was when you started with commercials because commercials is just about looks commercials is afterwards oh and after- the commercials is about the product but they want a pretty face they don't want to put a grenade on the, i mean there's a brief <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's be honest, so no. they're, gonna, they're not gonna put you and I, dog. Ah. They're gonna put Tabang from Blood and Water. Exactly. <laughs> he smells good with the, you know. The, no, the definitely. Ubu ubu she. I mean, bu mu she. Bu she buzok buzok se benze langi le le bu se benze langi kona. But it's up to you to make sure Uguti, you are still someone beyond ubu. Ah, more than that. Beyond that. I hate you. I hate that. you. Yeah. So I don't shy away and get bong and get mu and get bong. Yes, yes. But and get begi pambil. And because if you start, like I said, with saying "kala nje gite le la sengi inte inga si," then ubuche bamba ya pele. You don't even see ubuche. You just see, oh, that girl's got an attitude. Do you struggle when you get into rooms for people to take you seriously? Like, guys, I know I'm pretty, but I'm also fucking good and, and qualified. Yeah, and qualified. And I've put in hours into this. Yeah. I don't feel the need to explain myself anymore uh, because I put in the work. So whether you see it or you don't, I put in the work. Mm. I put in the work yeah. and look at nothing against I all the little tasks that I'm doing will eventually lead me to my destiny. Oof. Oh, love that. So I had to block out the noises and just focus. When you keep saying noises, what are these noises? Are you talking about social media the or social like media, in, in the industry? Social media that me now me also industry, you know, there was this thing of numbers back then. Yeah, which yeah. I think even now yeah. where people feel like, "Oh, Muntu is getting hired because of because numbers of and all those and things." And you fall under those people. And I got numbers because of his scheme some people started following me because of my work because of who and because of oh. being on SABC because of working alongside Amanda Amanda posting me all those oh. things so that's how people got to know me I and see. because of the character I was a new girl and then there were three other new guys but the only new girl who had a huge storyline on Scheme Sum. That's how it started. And then moved on from Scheme Sum to the Queen. That's Same when I thing. decided to leave at the pinnacle of my career to go and invest and also just understand what I'm doing mm. because I knew Guti I didn't study for it. So, I'm telling thing Yazi already. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me what I already know. I know I didn't go to school for it, but I respect it. Gyal shoni from seven zwam. And I've been gifted that it came naturally, mm. and I man, and I was equipped for that season. Mm. I was definitely equipped for that season. Let's talk about the Queen. Is it true you got hospitalized because of the toxic environment? No, not the Queen. Not the Queen. No, 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 no. Which which production was that? Not the Queen. Oh, you don't want to talk <laughs> about Skim Sum. No, no, no. This was just recent. Blood and water. Jeez. No, not blood and water. Which one? How many productions have you been on, Kanti? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> A lot of productions, but um, I think there was just so much happening, you know, and it was Isono, yeah. and I would love to apologize to the producers for the way I handled it. Mm. You know, it was really unprofessional. Like I always fight my battles behind the, the scenes. scenes. Yes, I've got representation for a reason. My agent is there, mm. so obviously, if I do all those things, then. They also get to now be in that bracket. Yes. Now they don't want to work with Abantu with a certain agency because ah baganje naganje naganje. So I've got people behind me that could have probably handled it better. As I'm saying, Guti, I'm an actress. I deal with things emotionally, and mm. I'm learning how to be to deal with things professionally. Mm. So I want to grow professionally, spiritually, and emotionally, mm. but be able to handle those kind of situations Conflicts. and not have to yeah not have mm. to go on social media mm. and say Guti naganje naganje naganje. It got to a point where it was too much, wow. and I took a break. after that and i think i 
felt better. Yeah. <laughs> I felt so much better because I, I was working back to back and I was doing so many productions at once, and also that, and I was losing so many people. It was just during COVID, and you're oh, losing so many people. Ekaiga Shona, you can't even go to. Eminwabeni, you can't get your closure. Kunzi ma usimse benzini. Like the little thing that you say or do, it triggers me. You know, so it was just all of that, and it was just a hard season, and I think it was just trauma that hit me. You know, and you can't exactly step back and say, "Okay, cool, I'm not going to do this," because you got to pay bills. No, you know? besides the bills, I've been financially blessed and blessed enough, Uguti. When it comes to the acting stuff, it's all about the bills. Yeah. So it why did you take time off bills. that season? Uti, ish, you there's know a contract. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a contract. D. Yeah. When that agreement, yeah. don't tell yeah. manje, you need to adult and Eish. you need to suck it up and you need to go to work and make sure Uguti. So do you think they perceive you as like being a diva at Isono? Um, I've made good relationships with people. Yeah. Um, I think anyone would take it the way they'd want to want take to, it okay. because you did that. I mean, yes. that's someone else's production company. Yeah. How would I feel if someone had to do that without having to speak to me directly yeah. and say, Guti, can you please just meet up? There's something in England, Patanga, guys. Yeah. You know, then having to just like blast it out like that. Sure. So I do sincerely apologize mm. and I should have addressed that in a better way mm. and a more professional way what what needs to happen to have a very good environment because we've got a good environment here but we don't know what we're doing i think maybe it's the grand journey <laughs> yeah, uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know what the secret is but there's something good here i think for me oh i'm alive guys why are you laughing <laughs> 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 oh, it's just good for me. <laughs> I don't think they're happy. I don't think they're happy. <laughs> I don't think they're happy. Ngene laba kwati le futa bang bulsang. Sira. Ngene bang bulisa bang injujusa. Laba kwati le bang tmala. Mashaa. Mbaksa. Mbaksa. But I believe in happy environments. That's why I don't want to do it wrong when I start with my production company. Yes. Oh. We always preach the spirit of Ubuntu as okay. Africans, okay. but we don't practice that. You know, and I feel like as an exec, even if you have five big shows sure. stay being on the ground and stay knowing what people need stay mm, knowing what to actors need this need this if we act it our green room is packed and we can't get space for us to learn our lines i mean you can't we can't all be in the same space you need your own space before you get into character yes if budget dang is find a favorite production you will sometimes have to be in one room but as long as you understand the conditions in that production and you hands on mm. On all the productions you've been part of, which execs would you say create that conducive environment for you guys as talent to thrive? I'd say Mandla and she looks happy on lockdown. Lockdown was lockdown was also location. Mm. So um and in lockdown you in character i think even after oh, his location i think you in character because <laughs> nick and my maruku character the whole time so in lockdown you wouldn't want to have a comfortable space okay oh, you okay. you'd want to and we had um but there's just it's exciting there's just so much work that needs to be done that you even forget in the environment and because people are happy like we're all just wanting to give this so mm, mm, mm. you know um but i think all the productions that i've worked for have been good um it's just this one misunderstanding that was there yeah. um and i just felt like producers needed to be on the ground and they needed to hear us and they mm. needed to make those changes especially for a long form production yeah. blood and water blood and water is fine hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> trailer do you think it would be as, as big as it is it is did you think it would be as big as it is like yeah. blood and water yeah I mean little little Nas X likes it yeah. Gabriel it's Union huge, yeah. who else bro. am I missing out there's a lot huge yeah. huge sure. it was a huge production how did that come about This was after I came back from the US. Yeah. Oh, before that I went back to the Queen. Yeah, yeah, went back to the Queen. I went back to the Queen. So I did lockdown then I went back to the Queen. And when I went back to the Queen I was like, why am I back here in the Queen that I've been at before? Yeah. What is it that I still need to learn? Exactly. So I questioned myself, Guti. God, I went to go study in the US and now I'm coming back to earn rands. I'm coming back to learn the same thing that I've learned. What is it? What what's different about this time being back with the queen? Cuz now I am a queen. <laughs> <laughs> She came back a queen, dog. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I needed to know why I was back there. Mm. And I learned so much. It's not always about going forward. Sometimes you need to go back and not go back to who you are, but go back to who you were after God restored you. So with a queen, I felt I was in a very good space when I was there. So I had to go back and be like, okay, cool. I'm here again with the same people. It feels like the season yeah, before yeah, yeah. feels like I've done this before so what is it that I'm doing wrong so it had to it had to feel like the first time again ah. I think that's how I took the blood and water audition because when I auditioned for it I literally stripped myself down lashes off yeah. nails off um, guy cleaner for that role I was in my little sister's uniform and I it had to feel like the first time again because I felt like I had lost that momentum I had lost the drive so you just walk in just like okay now I'll get this role I'm like nope they, a lot of other talented people you need to put in the work wow. so I'm glad I went back to the Queen because I had to I learned because I need to keep putting in the work do they treat you I different because you're from Hollywood forward. now mm. do they like oh no you get your own separate uh, I think because of the Queen Bangas and I always be a kid there I was just speaks I was just I was just like I've had Mothers on set, yeah. I've had sisters on set, like in the coolest way on set from Skim Sam, I was just tame, be able to sing cool, go abo, see, hey, tato, like they've been cool, see, le bonke. It's like when you come back to Sweden, they don't give a fuck that you're not in the water. But for mad, I was just fixed, hey, nana, so on a nana. So they'd like it's always been that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. That's how they always see me. Yeah. So I'm still a kid to them. Yeah. And because we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, what did you think about her, her and Blood and Water? To be honest, it's, it's, I'm not the target market, so. Did you watch it? Ah, five minutes. I'm not a fan. I watch it did on YouTube. Did you watch mute. my scene? No, no, no. So, how did you know what that did well? No, I like, I, I just saw five, first five minutes, I'm like, this is not for me. Did you watch it? Huh? I haven't seen it yet, but I see it makes waves, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. Lockdown, that's my shit. Hi, yeah. you lockdown. <laughs> you. But you still need to watch Blood and Water. For real? Is it that good, man? It seems like it's ah. for teenagers. Playing him dollar mean. Who kept real union as a teenager must be? Who kept real union as a teenager? True. Yeah. But she enjoyed it. Yeah, but maybe she's looking at it from a different angle, you know? Maybe at the delivery and the content in the story. The people enjoyed it. Like I have people that are way older that actually said, Oh, this was fun. See, I'm into like uh, thrillers. Yeah. I like thrillers. You know where they fuck up your mind? Mm. Like you think you know what's happening, but you don't. Since you're going to be a director, right? Why can't we have a squid game? Like something that's not a replica of something that we've seen. It's just something dope. Something creative. Not yeah. like a, a, a drug stories about, you know, uh, uh, crime in Jersey or crime. Just something very creative. Mm. I think we can. I think we do have creative stories. Not a budget. I think it's oh, a budget. Oh, true. Because I said developing country. No, man, but Vincent Malloy did something dope with... Um, what's that story that I like, that movie right now? Yeah, Vincent. Vincent. With Which Warren Masemula. Chovicho. Chovicho, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chovicho. Brilliant. I saw the trailer. That's my yeah. shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What are you watching right now, locally? Locally? Um, I've been watching soapies, actually. Mm. Yeah, and mm. Nintendo, my so I've been watching. Gomorra, all those guys. Yeah, Gomorra. Yeah. What I'm back in Bengal, Skim Sam, Maje, Skim Sam, Gomorra, and yeah. Do you ever watch a role and be like, "Fuck, that should have been me." Not should have been me, but how should have been me? Auditioning. If I audition for it, then I'm like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but. What did you audition for that you didn't get? Yo. I haven't had a whole lot on nose. Oh. No, because I don't I read the brief, so I don't okay. even bother going to an audition if uh, I know it's, it's not want, something that I want. Yeah. So I don't just take, take, take. Um and it's great, Wooty, we've reached that level um with my team where we know Wooty acting, passion. Yeah. Are there roles you'd never take or you'd never wanna play? Yeah, I think I've decided now. Mm. Which rules are those? Yeah. I'm a girl next door. Like, guys, I was with a bitch. Like, when yeah. I was with hey. Yes. <laughs> yes, you want a girl. I can. Like, just challenge me. Yeah. Like, just give me, like, challenge me. Um, 
strip me down also. Yeah. Yeah. You see, like lockdown, like lockdown, yes. Jay, it gave me that. So even even Blood and Water, I enjoyed it. You yeah. know, just the sass, just the confidence. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed that. So just give me, push me, like... Strip you down. Like, dig Lock deeper. Down, notch down. Dig deeper. <laughs> <laughs> only two. Only two entities have stripped it down. Lock down and notch down. <laughs> Are you comfortable so with sex scenes? Guys, um, it has to serve the story. Oh, okay. Oh. So you're not opposed to them. I, it has to serve the story. Don't we can't just be doing things because it sells. Mm. Yes, because it sells. I read. I read Khaleesi when she started Game of Thrones because like she wasn't that prominent. She would do the sex scenes. She didn't mind. And then when she started getting prominent and big, she was like, Nah, I'm not gonna do sex scenes no more. So that's not your vibe. Like you'd still do the sex scenes if it goes with the Game of uh, Thrones. I've never had a sex scene. I've had kissing scenes. Yeah. Um, sex scene, no. Mm. But if it's, for example, if it's like a story about if someone's getting raped, I think I did that Nagu Nagu oh. Nagu lockdown. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, and you get to be there, not because you enjoyed. I mean, that's oh, someone's reality. Yes. You know what I mean? Obviously, when it, there's cameras around you, it's your acting. Um, seven zako, but there's people that are actually going through it. Um, if it serves a story. Then I would, then I'd go that far. That would end up on Pornhub. Eh? I can already see that scene on Pornhub. No, I wouldn't do like sex scenes in jail. Like, no. So you do sex scene, but you mustn't enjoy it. <laughs> do you know how technical everything is? Like kissing is scenes, it? sex scenes. It's all technical. There's For no time real? to be enjoying. You're working. There's this light shining in your face. <laughs> Like there's no time, you know, and you're also the character. Yeah. You know, you're there. You're the character. What do you do when the guy's a bad kisser? I haven't experienced that. Ooh. Like it's always, it's always been professional. Mm. Who's been the it's best always, kisses? Um, you, I don't remember because it was the uh, character. Uh, so I don't take my characters home. That's a, that's, that's a great <laughs> cop out. That's a great, great, great cop out. I don't take my characters home. But they, the guys have all been professional. We've all be respected each other. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a role you thought you deserved? Deserved. I think when I was. 19 I deserved like a Disney role mm. I never auditioned for it but I don't see myself good Disney mind did you audition in America be. no you didn't audition anything mm. did you meet Trevor that side did you see him no you didn't see any no I was in New York but I was in New York and then IIA no because I missed Gabo I need a Kai also like I'd always missed yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah and then when we see like Nomza or Tuso doing yeah. all the big things that side is it as glamorous as it seems I think would have to hear it from them because they've been there. So I've oh, never experienced okay. it. I've never experienced it. Um, but the fact that they're putting in the work and they get to be there, mm. I think that's already a blessing. Yes, you know? yes. A whole lot of us would love to be with that platform. Yeah. So the fact that they're there representing us. What yeah. would uh, you describe your style of, of acting? My style? Mm. I don't think I'm a method actor. Yeah. No, I don't. Method actors are crazy, bro. No. What are method actors? They're like us. We take our characters home. Oh, <laughs> but we, we don't. We're not playing characters. But I, but I get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's what you struggle with in South Africa. It's, we don't debrief. Mm. We, just, oh. we actually do take our characters home. Oh. And when you're doing a soapy, because. I'm a soap here, Kai, so you don't get really feature films and I'm a series like I was six months, three months. You end up doing the same character for years. You end up becoming that character. Yeah, like Israel. Israel, my question. He hasn't deeply since he came out of prison. Don't have Gomorrah, right? Yeah, 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 but he's, he's a legend. Yeah. He's good at what he does. Yes, but nice then he's typecasted a lot of times. Yeah. But he said he doesn't care about that. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. He's amazing. Let's talk about your relationships, man. Uh, I remember your team said um, you don't want us to talk about your relationships, which I respect. So we don't relationships. Why is there a plural? Like previous, of course. You haven't been in one relationship. You've been one. Oh. I only recognize one. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
uh, but I respect that, right? So we're not asking anything about you know, whatever. But I want to know why though. Why don't you like talking about your relationships? Because this is not my. That's not my contribution in this industry. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not here to speak about my personal life. Mm. And it happens. It has happened because um, and I've accepted it. Great, but. I still control the narrative. So you only know what I put out there, honestly. The rest you think you do, but I don't like speaking about umjolo. But you know that that's what people want to hear, right? Mm. For me, they can keep spreading rumors, saying whatever they want to say, but I'm not entertaining that. I find it weird when like girls or like celebrities in general yeah. will go public let's say me and you are dating right and we go public and then in an interview like oh I don't want to talk about me and him dating it's like but it's public true but it's not your business <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there something that I'm missing I, I think she just said that she wants to control the narrative so but then isn't an interview the best place where you can con- control the narrative to debunk all the rumors that people are spreading <laughs> The only thing I owe people is a good performance on screen. So the mm. only time you can come Ooh. at me is if Wendy Opaizela Payana, then yeah, sure. Ukshile so, like, was it one of those, like, first time seeing you or talking stagey, date nights? Uban. Your current? Oh. Um, I think it would be better if he was here. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. No, I, don't, I, I don't mind speaking about my relationship. Yeah. I'm very happy. Oh. Cheers, sir. Hey. You're not being triple. Um, but I think. But I. No. But look, I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Guys, I've been saying um so I think it would be better if he was here and then as Kulmel and Chile and Wutsi we cut and then because in Tampa Minang cut his store, got a news of school mother way. Yeah, but he's a mute you come you come are you are calm. He's turned all calm. Okay, let's call it. So so if we ask him how you made is it gonna change? No, I think I don't mind speaking about my relationship. Yeah. But he must then say, yeah, yeah, because that that question is directed to him, not me. No, it's directed you, to you. No, what shall I win? What shall I What shall I win? Okay, me na. I'm going to get back to back. Giti, who's on the line? At Kazi Tursa. I'll be back. Aren't you Aren't you afraid of dating like a soccer player? Like you know, with all the connotations that they have. Yes, bad boys. I think both of us have that connotation. So why no. would you date an actress? Why would you date a soccer player? Um. Because there are people that are also not in the industry that wouldn't date an actress. Be like, yo, ha, ha, sinking. For but real. We see each other past our profession. Mm. Like, it's really past our profession. Mm. Um, it's just human. You know, I've connected with the soul. And, yeah. That's so amazing, good. man. So when all these people say all this shit, like, it doesn't get to you. No, oh, I think he's even, he's more good at that than I am. Mm. Um, sometimes, it, like it used to, and... I just saw how unbothered he was. I'm like, okay, why am I bothering, you know? It's like, he's so unbothered because he's so content in who he is. Like, he doesn't need to explain himself. He doesn't need to do an interview to say, oh, this is what's happening. Oh, this is why. This is what, mm-hmm. why is happening. Um, so he's very content, yeah. which is a beautiful thing. Very confident. And he has and he has and he has and he has and Mm. Uh, oh, what else did I want to ask? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> What's the thing with you and Aries? You, what happened with you and Aries? Like, everybody was always asking what happened with you and Aries. Can you just... It was work. I've said this in a couple of interviews with you. It was simply work. Um, it was a publicity stunt. And we came together. We were shooting a music video. And then I was hired as an actress. And then obviously it was a business move, you know. Mm. And I even said, Guye Uguti, I'm I'm a girl, I'm a female, mm, mm. you know, and society supports men. Society protects men. So You think that oh, you think in this day and age. Not, we are not dating. Yeah. You and I are not dating. We are doing this thing. There's a contract we've agreed, it's okay, come on, do the sure, um, sure. Sure. Your music videos, two, three, here it is. 
but when if I start dating now, so I'm like, but weren't you dating this person, this person? Mm. And I think it's a business move that I don't regret, but I've learned not to do it again. Yeah. Because, oh. And because I pretend to be people for a living, the last thing I'd want to do is to come back home and still have to now carry this and my and for it, my for my name to still carry something that's got nothing to do with me. Yes, yes. You yeah, know. you shouldn't have done so that. So eh? I've so I put my my name go that situation and I've learned not to ever do that again. It works but for him because everybody thinks that Aries and you were dating. I mean, we did well because we're both performers. Mm. So we served what we had to we did what we had to do and yeah, but we never dated. Yeah. Let's go back to you saying that it's a man's world. You still think it's a man's world right now? Yeah. No ways. No ways. Why do you say so? Which women have you seen been cancelled this year? Ever. And there's a lot of toxic women out there. Is this on social media? In general. Yeah. yeah. That cancellation generally happens there. It, yeah. Yo, I haven't been with social media that much. So... Mm. I think it's a woman's world now, man. <laughs> now it's a woman's world. Yeah. Yeah, because now we're standing up for ourselves. Yeah. So that's why. Mm. Shit. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to play a game. It's called One Must Go. Are you ready? One Must Go. Yeah, One Must Go. Between these actors, actresses, you must tell me which one must go. Are sure. you ready? Yeah. Do you want to take a do practice round? N- no, it's fine. We can go. <laughs> like, who's the soccer player? Who's the, one of the biggest soccer players now? Right now? Mm. Timmy, go to Lodge. Yeah, uh, another one. Uh, uh, excuse me. Hey, Percy <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Tao. Okay, yeah. Between Lodge and Percy Tao, who must go? Percy Tao. That's how you play the game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He's amazing, though. Yeah, he's amazing. He's, amazing. he's, doing, he's doing well. Doing he's well doing well. Yeah. Yeah. As well Is yeah. Lodge ever going to go overseas? With a woman like me, by his he has to be hey, working. Hey, Such a band. Such a band. Hey, you're going to be a housewife. We're going to fuck directly. We're going to get bored. Housewife? No. Yeah, I, I work. I love working. <laughs> I love I working. Uh, Tusem Beto versus Zikona. One must go. I love both of them. Yeah, you got to choose one. Yeah, I sadly. love Tau as well. I love Lodge as well. Ah... Yo, Ish. And you worked with both of them, no? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta choose one, man. One must go. Ish, this is the corner on Kole. I go to Kelling Zangega and Dao. Dao. The corner on Kole. She knows I love her. Yo. But she's like an icon in your in your space, no? Yes. And and it's great to meet people that have been in the industry. Mm. Oh, yeah, she's so, lovely. It's so like it's amazing. Yeah, we've met her once. She was amazing. It's aura, amazing. energy. And yes. I think that's the thing about that generation, mm. you know. And I hope that we don't take things to a kind and let the fame get get to us. But they working. They're all about the work. They respect themselves and Zwabo. They love what they do. And yeah, like yeah, and I've also me. Like that yeah, generation. But that's easy to say before you're famous. Fame I is a what? bitch. It's easy to say, like, you know, I don't want the fame to get to my head, I'll keep working, whatever, until you've experienced it. Because fame is a bitch, man. It's a drug. If you if I can say go to Zikon as a nice person, you can say and you can say that they know when you want to in Guta be a nice person to Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's famous as well. Yeah, I think it comes with age and experience. Because, I mean, you, you can't sit there and tell me you've never had, like, a big head. One moment in your career where you're like, okay, that was a bit big-headed of me. I think me, it's not big head. I think I need to find a way to address things because then it sounds like it's big head. Okay. But for me, it's just the human in me wanting something to be done a specific way. Yeah. But I forget, Duguti, when you're Natasha, they magnify everything. Yes, so, yes. Saul so can say one thing, yes, I can say the same yes, thing. Or yes. Blake, he can say the same yes. thing. Marusol and I, they'll magnify. So, I've had to find ways to then say it and make sure, Uguti, they understand and they comprehend and they don't get offended. Yeah. But I still have those moments where people take things the wrong way or I'm going through my own stuff and I isolate and people are like oh come to ngono yeah. so people also don't know what they want yeah. do you like fame though me and Saul hate it Yo. can't stand it no I think because give me so already 
So I always link it with that. So before getting to Esther, so miss up cock, all right, but I take high, but right. So you get like okay. five people stopping you before you even get to where you're going. Oh. So it's the same thing as this. Before yeah. I even get to the more, Konum does not stop at our five, especially it's better now with masks. Mm. But before that, it was that. So I just linked it up with that. Goes, ah, okay, this has been happening there. Mm. Imagine a man cheating on you and you got to take a picture with someone like, yo, oh, that'll be the worst picture ever. Mm. Imagine. I can't imagine. Mm. He's never. Yeah, good man. He's one of a kind, this one, eh? He is. Are you sure you play soccer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Next one. Hey, where's the next one? Uh, Tabang versus Pellens Dada. Are we speaking about acting or just them? Acting. Acting. You're an actress. We're talking about acting. How? I thought you were just speaking, Jay. Uh, no, we like yeah, hang no. out. No, no, I don't no, know no. that you were speaking about um, Sebens. Well, no, Korea. Sebens. So we so we'll start again. Um, I think ooh, I love you Tabang you're amazing but Upalans seeing the growth like just witnessing him from class act and seeing his growth <coughs> yeah but Tabang's a ladies man no? yeah I wouldn't know yeah a lot of ladies love him I he's know. massive no? yeah he's huge he's, he's a huge, hit no? he's a hit yeah. amongst the he's on the blood ladies. and water yeah Yeah. how's the set like in blood and water like the, the vibe because you're all young there all young and God fearing. Mm. That's the nice part about it. All young and God fearing. Do you guys Long like chill? Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys chill like after the shoot and stuff? Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. A lot. That's we nice. got along. Wow. A lot. So we still cool. get along. Like we reach out. Hey, we've got a group chat as well. Just chat every now and then. Oh, yeah. that's dope. Okay. Amakata versus Nozuka. Amata. 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 Against Nozuko Nayan. Nayan. One must go. Ha. They both representing us well. Yeah, yeah. And we need more representation. Like them. Like them. Yeah. I think the industry needs representation. Um, and Amma is doing so well. Nozu was doing so well in Deep City. Mm. Um, I think. Here, why? <laughs> why? Uh, one must go. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm sorry, but like, Nozu. Nozuka's she's, gotta go. She's yeah. She because I've also seen how Nozuka prepares. Okay. Like I lived with Pretty okay. for like a a year. Yeah. And she puts in the work. Yeah. yeah. She really puts in the work. And even with the Deep City, like I was like, how is it? Like oh, it's so much fun. Yeah. But it's so challenging. This is that. And she puts in the work. Hey, you respect you know. people that prep, ne? Like put in the work. It's a, yeah, because it's a lot. Yeah. Because you is. can't just think, Uguti. Oh no, locals on seven are locals. It's all about the work. Yeah. Skim Sam versus the Queen. One must go. Huh? Mm hmm. Yo. Mm hmm. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll say the Queen because I wasn't going to be able to get to the Queen if I didn't get that experience that I got on Skim Sam. Mm. So I'm very, still very grateful mm. to the Skim Sam producers, um, Mamuini, um, Tato, and the makeup ladies, Mam TMB, like everyone that was there. And she, um, and I'm still young, being and in the industry. Yeah. So thank you so much. Like I wouldn't be this far if it wasn't for that production. I'm for I'll be forever grateful. If I had to go back to one production, skim some any mm. like I would say yes. Yeah. I really would say yes. We interviewed uh, one of the guys from Skim Some. What's his name? The guy we had in Bulgwan at the branch. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. Connect or connect. something. Connect. Yeah, connect great guy, something man. Like. Yeah. yeah, great guy. Eh? Storyline with him on on thing on Skim Sam. Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Last one. Soccer players or rappers? One must go. Rappers. Rappers must go, ne? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Especially in this country, they ain't no rappers no more. They're all doing piano. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> still <laughs> rappers. They're rapping on pianos. They're still rappers. Oh, they're still rappers. Yeah. 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 All right, cool, man. Uh, oh yes. I forgot to ask you. Yeah. Is there anything between you and La Cisa? What's what's going on with you guys? Between? 
There's bad vibes there. What's going oh, on? Oh, Mama hey. mm. Oh. I'm enjoying my silence. Mm. So, he decided to say whatever he wanted to say. He can carry on saying whatever he wants to say. But hey, one thing I love about La Cizue is how much of a hard worker he is. Oh yeah, he's, yes. he's one of the he's best. He's such a hard worker. Have you seen his numbers? He's such a hard worker. <sighs> Have you seen his numbers? Besides yeah, the I've numbers. Plus he's a Zopuma, Uzo with Thrower. Look at that, Plus he's a So what did you say? What did he say? What did he say? You watch, you'll check it out. Over watch it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that too. It's fine. Hear it. um, but he, like young people, can learn a lot. Yes, from yes, yes. He says yes. his home is beautiful. Yeah. Um, like he, he knows he's doing everything right. And you have Vugula he's a, he's a hard worker. Wow, that's So, Vugula. um, I think one, <laughs> no man, we have Vugek say, Ni Ayo Sebe. Oh, hi, how? Tantim Nantim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's doing he's doing really well, you know. And I think one thing that people need to learn from the situation I'm not last is would see when people grow out or like you grow up and yeah, you grow out of each other's seasons, and it's okay. What happened? It I don't even is. know. I should have said I must ask you that. What happened? No, I'm thinking you guys are cool. No, we're we're good. What did he say? Because he said you you are silent. What did he say? I think we can watch the interview. Oh, there's an interview he did. Yeah, I just, on his show. I just, yeah, I just saw people just tagging me, him oh, mentioning me okay. over and over again. So, um, so my thing was, you need to figure out if we're industry friends or if we're genuine friends. Oh, there's oh. no such thing. There's no such that, thing. No, no. It's rain the I'm game. Friend, I'm friends with Nozuko. I'm friends with Rosemary. I'm friends with Tand. Those people are all in the industry. Those people sometimes audition for the same roles that I audition for. But we pray with each other. Good luck, friend. Wow. We help each other record on myself tapes, knowing exactly who's auditioning for the same role. Wow. So, Ulla season, I don't have any connection mm. for us to say, Guti, oh, Contest Luisai. That's industry. Especially because I'm Sebens. So, I'm friends with people that even audition for the same roles that I audition for, and our relationships are healthy. Yeah, that's industry. And our relationships are healthy. So we need to determine if you're an industry friend or if you're a genuine friend. Oh, no, that's industry. And if you are an industry friend, I ask you to come into my yes. home. Yes. Let me not go into your home. Exactly. You can go to my home. 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 Exactly. How, how, like how, did you, how long did it take you for, for you to distinguish that? Because it took me such a long time. To realize that oh shit okay there's industry and genuine because mm -hmm. I thought it was the same thing for the longest time I thought it was the same thing. I think because nanga seven zanghambi, but also the people that stay in your life. Mm. You know the people that stay in your life. Like this is what stayed in my life and it was great. Mm. We're good friends. Um, we're both hard workers. We're both young. Mm. You know so. If we have to grow apart, that's okay. But let's still keep respecting each other. Mm. And that's for any friendship. If there's a fallout, let it stay like that and let it stay there. Mm. You know, let it stay there. Yeah, he's so mature, eh? More mature than I would ever do. If I'd be on this interview saying, fuck La Suiza, man. No. Can eat a dick. Begum nandi, guys, gum nandi. Begum nandi, gum nandi. So why when we have... When business seal, it has to be ikishkish, and we have to go to this tabloid, and you have to throw them under the under the bus and say this and say this about me. So shut up, good hashuts and kulle for me. You understand? Like it gets to that point where friends Jeez. start saying certain things about Weaponizing you. Weaponizing the sensitive after, things, I know. Uh, about exactly about, you, about yeah. you. So if you have a fallout, let it stay like that. I don't have to now trash talk and say good. Foot when I na lo, I na lo, I na lo. Secrets. Ka. And then Tando Duma, you guys are still friends? Or oh, same vibe? Um, so that's where it started. Oh, it started yeah. with this and Tando now. What was that question? No, no, no. It's like generations, this thing. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Tando and I were also like really good friends. Um, and then Ulasiza asked about me, go interview, and then there was a whole back and forth. Oh. But I just felt like Lassies were being both of our friends. I don't mind you being friends with 
u so or being friends with Ndano being friends with Tula sure, sure, sure. because people are different for everyone sure. you might be a bad friend to me but a good friend to 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 make you yes. to understand I so it. i respect that as long as we you respect the friendship that you have with me and value it and respect the friendship that you have with Ndano and value it so Ula sees did manage to to destroy that by saying things that he knew about us on screen that no one else knew about Ooh, and this is that's low. so and this is friendship Ouch. this is what people did not know about is he close to the robin marawa no i don't know okay. i don't know but like for me i just want people to same whatsapp group eh? oh mm-hmm. wow well, for me <laughs> I sure. <laughs> Private <laughs> like conversations, like making them public. Ex- hey, like don't let's not that? throw each other yeah, under the bus. Man. You understand? If I have a conversation with you off record and then you ask me on Bro. screen, you're throwing me under the bus. Bro, so why exactly, should I trust you? Exactly. Because you're already saying things yeah. that are not public mm. information and you're already saying it to them mm. you know so, and you made that the trailer as well mm. so that's when I was like oh, you know what yeah. I don't want this back and forth I want genuine people I want genuine friends yeah. and it has to everything has to align like we can't be throwing each other under the bus we're True. all doing so well and Thando's doing amazing mm. Lassie's doing amazing and we can all do amazing in our different spaces mm. and keep flourishing mm. and they haven't been to America you know <laughs> <laughs> he has let's see what he has okay he has all right dude <laughs> man first of all i want to apologize for uh what i said about the dm yeah. i did not know that's how he felt that it was rapey so i apologize for that but you got to give me credit i didn't act on it I just blue ticked. I want to like keep pursue. on keeping on now. I want to blue tick, blue tick Dwight because it was a chain one. Yeah, but I'm saying keep I wasn't rapey like practical. Hey, let's meet up. Okay. Yeah. What's your number? So you'll give me, yeah, you'll give I, me. I upload a fish for swimming. <laughs> Hi, oh, that's, that's, no, that's how you're supposed to act. <laughs> I upload a fish for swimming. Hey, hey. Hey, Mara, I almost relapsed with you because I was on the road to recovery. Why for me, Monsa, I'm saying, but. And I felt it was like rehab, Bob. So I was on the road to recovery. I saw your your picture. I'm like, ooh, this one is nice. I didn't even know your face. I only knew your voice. For real. Wow. You're a radio presenter. Yeah. I only knew your emoji on yeah. Twitter, yeah. which is the hair. So yeah. it's mm-hmm. Tom and the emoji. Yeah, the gorilla thing. So I honestly didn't even know your face. No, and why? If someone drops a DM, I say, I can't. They're literally after the show, you drive to them, <laughs> pick them up. We're proud. Eh? We're proud. No, I'm just saying that's how it was back then. Mm. Not anymore. Ah, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm a changed man. Like right now, I don't even know what my DMs look like. You know? But anyway, so any question you want to ask her? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Earlier on, you said um, you've been like honing your craft, obviously getting ready for possible international gigs and working on different accents. Apart from like American accents, which ones are you like really good at? Can you do the American accent? Oh, I'm sure she can. I mean, she spent time hey, Tuso there. Tuso killed it, eh? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, Tuso, yo, bro. Yo. Convince it. Even Namzamo. Well, she was doing an African one, but she an killed African, it. Yeah, <laughs> West, I think West Africa. Yeah, yeah, West, West Africa, Africa, yeah, but she killed it also. Have you heard his kind of accent? Mm-mm. No, but I have to. <laughs> this is not a solid interview. It's an attached no, interview. Please, and please I asked you first word. It. No, it sucks. Please. It sucks. You're a... <laughs> Actress, like it sucks. Ask Trust him me. to order some it's grand journey. Gener- <laughs> in Ghana. <laughs> 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 no, it sucks. No, it's not about me. It's about you. Like, yeah, I'll, but just do it. Just no, man. No. I no. I yeah 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 Because yeah. I'm not gonna do it. No. What do you mean? I asked you for. It, I get you paid ain't. to do that. Yeah. Ooh. So Gizo is just just my Allah. Yeah. I'm guaranteeing that you're gonna send this tape to an audition. Exactly. No, man. I got, come on, Mac dog. I won't forget. Let me. We like last season. We didn't stand there. Come on, Jay. La. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? <laughs> Listen, man, Natasha, I love you long time. What I love about you is that you're beautiful. You got brains. You're yeah, hardworking. Massive brain. A true symbol of you know what you can become. You know if you put your mind to it and work hard. You know. So I appreciate you for that. And in closing, what do you want to be remembered as? I want to be remembered as. Someone who opened doors for other people. Because I know what it feels like to have someone take that elevator down. 
Dude. Need to take it up. Yo, how much did Trevor know open doors for us? Exactly. There's Trevor know, there's a Tusumbe to there's Black Coffee. Then there's so much. There's so many of them that are doing mm. so much internationally. Now we show my Josie as well. You know. So I want to be remembered as someone who opened the door for other people and created jobs. You know, and just for my work. Mm. Mm. Not all the good stuff i mean it's it's hard to hide when you're happy you know mm. but now i've learned to just keep that to myself you know yep. i'm in a very Nature good space it. i'm in a very good space and it could only be god honestly mm. you know it could only be god and people must remember I always pray for people to see God through me. Oh wow. Ooh, beautiful. Because I saw Mandla for me to be here. Sure. True. I couldn't have done this without God. Mm. Sometimes it feels like especially when I walk into my home, I'm like, this is mine. Do you guys stay together? Who? Or he comes to you? No, house? I bought my own home. Bored, is he? Oh Drop so. that fucking thing of yours. Twenty-five year old <laughs> buying a house. We we're just buying beers, dog. <laughs> and thank you to Sis No No. Actually, No No Events. She helped me. Um, yo, like Lang is sending me and sending my I'm like, yo, Sis No No. I need Jan even. And they were done building the house. I'm like, I need assistance. And she helped me. So thank you to Sis No No. So there were no transfer oh. fees for your house. Yeah. You built it. Yeah. Wow. No, I built it from yeah, for so from last year, wow. and then I needed um, it's a new development. So obviously I got my transfer fees and all those things, wow. but I still had to take out a whole lot of deposit, oh. and since no one was there, um, so I've been so blessed, and it can only be God. That's why I don't put I don't put my destiny in people's hands. Mm. Favorite scripture in the Bible? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. And wow. always acknowledge him, and he will set your path. Love that. He will direct Powerful. your wow. path. Powerful. And that's been me. I've had to trust God. Kunzi, mm. my guys. Like we smile, but we have our hardships. And you know, like we have our hardships. Sometimes people don't know the story, they only know the glory mm. because we choose to protect that and just keep it with the people around us. Kotwa, Kubanzi, my fosonke. And I think after COVID, especially during COVID, we're praying for things that money can't buy. We're praying for health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surviving. We were scared of yeah. losing. People lost their parents. People lost their loved ones. And Nasimile and but we also didn't think would make it this far. Yeah. We're praying for things that money can't buy, and that shows you what what's important, you know. So I want to be remembered for my love for God, and I want people to see God through me. I want people to know with whatever happens in my life, whether good or bad, He's He's got it, yo. That's why I don't shake egg because He's got it. You know what? I want us to pray for us. <clears throat> hey, because you see, we've got a male crew. Guys, come, 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 come. So we can become better people as men. I want you to pray for us. Yo, come, guys, no, let's hold hands. I'm not, hands. Come, I mean, guys. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm holding. Come, come, guys. Sound guys. Pray for us. I pray hands. for all the men. Come, guys. Old holding no, 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 it must be background. camera. It doesn't count if it's not in camera. Ah, yeah. Come, come. Everybody must come. No, Tato, come, Mesh, come. Spew. Come, guys, come, guys, come, come, come. Come, come, come. Hold come. Hands. come stand behind jump, us. Jump, jump on that. We're all going to hold hands. You're going to pray for us. You must pray for us men to be better people, man. Let's go, yes, let's go. Please. Come, come, come. Sol now, it's all. Not me. Yes, yeah, oh, like, man. It's not a Monday. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come, Blakey, come. Not come, me. Jen. It's not a Monday. Come, come. Oh, come. Oh, the cameras are rolling, ne? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, come, oh, come. Oh, yeah. Simpio, are you in camera? Put the headphones down. Don't worry. The sound is good. Yes, yes. Come, come, Jens. Let's keep up. Come, come, come. Yeah, come, 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 come. Okay, I'll hold. Did you give them permission? Can they hold your hands? Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, can we hold it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Don't want any lawsuits. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, remember, on Natasha, Lana. Yeah. When it's the altar call. Yeah. Come, come, come. All right, you're going to pray for us. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. And you can pray for us. Let's close our eyes, guys. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Babam Dalis is a goena this moment. And we thank you for this day. And we thank you for Tandulwako. You're an omnipresent God. And your promises are yes and amen. 
I don't know what everyone in this room is going through, Father God, but shine your light. Let them remember how big you are in Pilon Zabo. Even go back to Bangas, what's next? Especially in this industry, Father God, we pray for changing of industries. I always say that our prayers are too big to pray for little things because you're a miracle, God. We pray for changing of industries. We pray for the unemployed graduates that are there at home. And we pray for the men in this country, Father God. Please, Father God, speak to them, whisper, heal them, Father, so that they can be better men for themselves and for their families. We thank you for this moment. We thank you. You are the beginning and you are the end. And victory belongs to you at all times. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Oh, that is beautiful. Whoa. Yo, I felt him. Did you feel him? I tried not to go. Kaveri papa papa. Fire. <laughs> but thank you for this moment. Oh man, that was you, amazing. You know, I, feel, I feel like I that feel was like beautiful. like in all honesty, guys, singa tlanga na gota sineng inga. That's you true. Know, and when we tweet, I can tweet na go king size bed ya mi. Got there's someone else that's tweeting guma conditions ange ko right. Mm. Yeah. And they just there. That's why I don't take things personally sure. because it's not about me. Mm. Sometimes people just say things because they hurting. Yep. Mm. They're just projecting. They're just projecting. And people yeah. are going through so much. Mm. And when I do giveaways mm. on social media, I'm not doing giveaways for me with Bang Boy. But God has blessed me in abundance that I want to share with wow. people. I want to extend it. Mm. You know, Twitter is not the, like, the best place right now for, for me sure. anymore mm. because people have made everything about something that I'm not there for. Mm. Mm. But I take the time to at least DM someone. It's okay, they need groceries. I'm like, yo, send me a thingy. Mm. You know, and still keep serving and still keep being used by God yeah. at all times. I'm not perfect. But like I said, Uti, God always directs my path. Yeah. That's the true blessing, being able always. to bless others. Yeah. Yeah. Always. I don't like seeing people struggle. Yeah. I command with Mr. Kalele, it doesn't end the cross at the time in a week for his sushi, ting his sushi platter. It's not nice. Mm. So, that hundred grand for when I data is someone else's groceries sure. for a yeah. week. Yeah. yeah, true. And it's our people. And it's our people. Mm. Yeah, true. Fuck, so, man, if you had a party, I'd yeah. vote for you, eh? Did you vote? I did. You did? <laughs> I did. did you vote for? My vote is my secret. <laughs> 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 Hi, man. We are here. Podcast and shit. Peace. <laughs>